john4lakers.com here. As you can see behind me, it is a gorgeous, sunny Southern California day, and I'm inside because I'm a little bit sick. Mostly physically, a tad bit mentally, but either way, I'm ill. So I thought I could be sort of productive and walk you guys through the new Xbox experience on the Xbox 360. It actually was the driving force behind me repurchasing an Xbox. I really like the Netflix streaming and I like the ability to download the games right to the hard drive. So I'm going to walk you guys through all the cool new things about it, show you the interface, the new avatars, and just give you my overall impressions on it. So I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned to the channel for more Xbox videos and some Xbox versus PlayStation videos and some all kinds of other electronic content. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right, guys, go ahead and turn the Xbox on here. I'll give you guys a nice demonstration and walkthrough of the new Xbox experience, or NXE, as Microsoft is calling it. So you get your Xbox splash screen with the circle logo. So instead of the blades, the way the old Xbox used to be, you're greeted with kind of a new and unique experience. So it lets you know you're signed on to Xbox Live, which I am. Alright, so here you are. Let me move the camera over just a little bit. Alright. So again, no more blades. You're greeted by the Spotlight. My Xbox. Game Marketplace. Video Marketplace. Friends. Inside Xbox, Events, and Back to Spotlight. So let's start here with Spotlight. And really this is just a way to blast you with advertising. Seasons, Greetings, you got some movies, music, and freebies. You can click on any one of these panels. So I'll click on this first one here. You hit the A button or the green button on the remote. Opens it up. You kind of get a whole bunch of other stuff you can do here. Free premium themes. You can dress up your avatars. We'll get to in a little bit. Just more advertising, uh, mostly. So we'll go back here. Anyway, you can see all kinds of different stuff in Spotlight. Sorry for my voice, too. I got a little bit of a cold, but uh, it's coming back gradually. It's all kinds of other stuff. Christmas time in South Park. News for Gears of War. Some stuff you may be interested in. Some stuff, you know, maybe not. But regardless, for better or worse, there it is, and there's no way to turn it off. My Xbox. So this is where you have all of your games, all the games you've downloaded. So right now I've got Call of Duty Gears at War here. And one thing to know about this, and one thing that's very cool about it, and you can put in a game, and you can actually copy the entire contents of the DVD onto the hard drive. Meaning, when you play it, it's totally quiet, no load times, everything's being loaded directly from the hard drive instead of the DVD being, uh, D being read. One of the knocks I had on the older Xboxes was that the DVD spinning was so loud, you'd often hear it over the gameplay. But now with this, it's very quiet. So you have the option here to play from your hard drive, um, view your downloads for the game, delete it from your hard drive. It lists your achievements for the game. You can see I don't have many since I just started playing. Some featured downloads for the game, descriptions of the game, and some game details. And when you're playing it off the hard drive, you actually have to have the physical disc in the Xbox just to verify it. But once it verifies the first time, the disc is no longer needed. But every time you want to play it, again, it has to verify the disc again. So you can't give it to a buddy and let them copy it and they'll be able to play it. But I really do like this new part of the new Xbox experience here. So we'll go back. So here are some of the games you have and some of your achievements. Open this up for you and show you. So you can all of my old games from Guitar Hero 2, Rock Band, Call of Duty 4, Madden. It kind of lists all your achievements for all your uh, old games. Here's some of the achievements for the games I downloaded from the Xbox Marketplace, like Contra, Pac-Man. There's Gears of War, Call of Duty 3. And it really can go back in time and see all the stuff you've done for all your games in a really cool, visually represented way. And you can see my little avatar dude chilling out there. And I'll get to him in a minute. We'll go back. Your video library, if you have videos in here. Oops. Sorry. Keep pushing the wrong button here. Alright. My Xbox. There we go. So your music library, your picture library, if you have pictures in there. Windows Media Center, if you happen to use a PC and you want to hook it up. And all your system settings. 
So I have the Xbox 360 Elite, which came with the 120 gigabyte hard drive with my user settings, new Xbox experience, and one game downloaded onto the hard drive. I have 90, about 96.5 gigabytes free space. Each game takes about, I believe, probably 20-ish uh, gigabytes for storage space. So definitely be aware of that. So we'll go, go up here, Game Marketplace. You can download, uh, you know, new games and new updates for some of your most popular games. You're pushing the wrong button. There we go. Okay. So kind of nice and simple, all very graphically represented. Uh, the next, walk you through actually one more time here, and it takes you back to your game library. There's a video marketplace, and this is where you can explore video content. You can download movies from here. You can view new arrivals or most popular. Um, movies and TV shows actually. So we'll go ahead and go into browse and I'll show you what this looks like. So let's go ahead and view all movies. Just thinking about it, queuing up a list here. And here you go, it starts right at the top. And some of them are in HD, some of them are not, but the quality is very good. One thing to know, though, these are not streaming movies, meaning as soon as you hit play, it won't start playing like it does on the Apple TV. It actually has to download the whole movie, and that can depend on your internet connection. For me, it takes about an hour, an hour and a half to download a whole movie. Uh, it may vary for you. And see, you'll notice that it says HD uh, right down below the movie poster. So it says Alexander, 2004, 175 minutes, rated R, and HD. And the cost really varies per movie. And same thing for TV shows and different collections that they have. So I'll go back out of here. Back out one more time. So one cool thing, and actually one of the big reasons I got the new Xbox, is for Netflix. And for those of you outside of the U.S. who just don't know what Netflix is, it is a movie rental service. It lets you go online, fill out a list of movies that you want, and they mail them to you in the mail in DVD or Blu-ray format. And as soon as you finish watching it, you put it back in the mail, and the next one on your list shows up. Now, you manage a list online called a queue. And a lot of these movies in your queue are actually a, a able to be viewed online from your computer, PC, or Mac. And what this does lets you watch those movies that you could watch on your computer on your Xbox. So I'll give you an example here. I'll open up Netflix. You guys can see me standing there in the reflection. It actually has to log you out of Xbox Live in order to do this. And it immediately connects you to your Netflix queue. Just like when you're connecting an Apple TV to your television or comparing uh, an iPhone remote to your Mac, it gives you a little bit of a code. You go onto Netflix.com, you type in that code, and you're good to go. So here's some movies that I have in my queue that are available to be streamed online. So let's pick the first one here, Pan's Labyrinth. I'll open it up and show you guys what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and push the A green button here. Move this around. Give that a push. Tells you everything about the movie. We'll go ahead and restart it because I had watched it earlier. It's determining my video quality, so essentially checking out your internet connection, making sure it's capable of streaming video. And if it is, whether it can be streamed in high quality or low quality. And if it can be streamed in high quality, it will do it by default. Uh, it's not full HD. I believe it can stream at uh, 720. It does look very good, though. It takes a little while to determine the video quality. But I want you guys to see this in real time, so I'm going to leave the camera on. Alright, see now it's telling you it's being presented in HD, which is nice. I've got pretty nice internet fidelity here. Getting the movie ready to go. And being able to watch movies online through Netflix really is a nice addition to the Xbox. It really takes it away from a gaming-centric console. It's more of a media console and happens to be something that does play games, which is nice. And it's something the PlayStation um, you know, tries to do as well. They don't have a Netflix streaming right now. PlayStation just has the PlayStation Network, 
where you can just download some TVs and movies and, uh, and games as well. So it's still letting me know it's being presented in HD and it's still thinking about playing it. Alright, so it's all ready to go. See a little status bar on the bottom there letting you know when it's getting close. The big Xbox Live branding with the Netflix branding on top. So the little status bar is halfway there. It's holding along nicely. So all in all, it's about a three to five minute process to get a movie uh, queued and ready to go, which is actually not bad considering you're streaming an HD quality movie or close to HD quality movie right over the interwebs. So it's getting there. Still thinking about it? Hauling along? Okay, and now it's done, and the movie will just start playing. And I can't tell you, the quality does look fantastic. You probably won't be able to see on the video, but it does look really good. So let me get out of here. And let's get back to walking through the dashboard. Okay, so here we are back on the dashboard. So we'll go back to where we were, the video marketplace, and we'll continue along. So there was Netflix, got a chance to see that in action. Christmas time in South Park, all kinds of other choices, just another way for them to blast you with uh, advertising again. Just another way for them to advertise to you. And it ends with your video library. So friends, gives you a whole list of your friends. Oops, why do you push the wrong button here? Whole list of all your friends, you can see whether they're awake or sleeping. I don't have that many friends on here yet. I have a lot of requests, I have to sort through them. Inside Xbox. So that's stuff you might be interested in. And this, these change kind of on an hourly basis here. Gamer Spotlight, you're in the movies, and some free videos. Some events. You can view Xbox sponsored events. And we're right back to where we started at Spotlight. So under my Xbox here, you notice there's a little avatar, John Four Lakers guy. So you actually have the ability to go through and customize your avatar. So I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Customize avatar. The first time you load up the new Xbox experience, you're greeted with just a myriad of avatar options. You can change features. Let's change features here. You can see you can change your hair, your eyes, eyebrows. I have bushy eyebrows. Let's give myself a goatee. There. I'll give myself a 70s mustache. And that here is black. So we'll make it dark, nice and easy. You can change your clothes and everything. Um, I would not look good with a mustache. But anyway, you get a whole bunch of avatar changing options. It really is kind of a nice feature. And it's very reminiscent of the Me feature on the Nintendo Wii. He does a little Wii, uh, Wii avatar like dance. And he'll show up in some of the smaller games you can download from Xbox Live. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a real quick demonstration of the new Xbox experience. Overall, I've been really happy with it. Um, I like being able to download games to the hard drive. That's the biggest thing for me. And Netflix are the two must-have features that I wanted in the Xbox. And I was very happy that they did it. And actually, they were the two big pushes to get me to purchase an Xbox again. Uh, whereas I had sold mine uh, probably about a year ago. So, just a real quick tour through this, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll do some more in-depth Xbox videos coming soon, including some comparison videos of the Xbox versus the PlayStation 3, and talk about pros and cons of each console. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to check out www.johnforlakers.com. And for exclusive content information, be sure to follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash johnforlakers. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.